friends and welcome to my vlogmas i have yet to vlog this thus far this month it is december 6th this week has been absolutely crazy for me with school and work and i have yet to have a day off but don't you worry i am definitely gonna be filming some good stuff this month i have a bunch of ideas i just need to execute them so I am going to take you guys along with me today. I don't think I'm going to vlog like every day of the month. I'm going to try to get up as many like Vlogmas Christmas vlogs as I possibly can this month. Things are starting to slow down with school. I only have two more days of classes. So I should definitely be able to get some stuff up. So this morning I woke up super early got in a nice relaxing shower i try to do that on friday mornings i try to just like get up take a nice shower usually friday is like the first full day i have off anyways i have some i have a christmas party to go to tomorrow and i've been super busy and had a bunch of stuff to do this week and i've been wearing a lot of makeup putting a lot of heat on my hair so today i'd like to be chill run errands i'm gonna be comfortable and leave my face and my hair alone. So I wanted to share with you guys, I have been having a ton of breakouts recently, which is like nothing new for me, but um, I break out really bad every time I get my eyebrows done on the top of my eyebrows, which is really a pain. So I always have to like plan out if I get my eyebrows done, like I need to do it three to four days prior to whatever, I'm, if I'm going to do something like that I, get dressed up for whatever but I am super super broken out so every time I'm super broken out I and I need like a quick fix like something that will just like obviously not take away my acne but like really subside it and make my face just look a lot better and even me out I use this Peter Thomas Roth pumpkin enzyme mask it's a resurfacing mask. This is just a trial size. I definitely am gonna eventually buy the full size of this once I run out, it's so, so good. Um, so I put that on my face and it actually really, really helped. I haven't used it in like a month or so and I don't know why, it's super helpful. So I did that. I am just hanging out right now. I clean my room and I'm just kind of sitting and relaxing before I have to leave to go out. I'm going to breakfast with my best friend. So I'll vlog a little bit of that. Um, I am just about to leave for breakfast. So I thought I would show you guys what I'm wearing. So I wanted to be casual and comfortable today. So I just have on this white long sleeve, it's kind of cropped. I have these light wash joggers on, and then I have um, a, it's a teddy coat, but it's not like, I don't know, it kind of reminds me more of like a North Face. It's not super big, it's not, I don't know. If you're, if you're from New England, you know like this will not keep you warm. Um, but for just like running errands, I'm not gonna really be outside much. I like to throw this on. This is like a kind of like honestly low-key puke color, but I like it. Um, so yeah, I just have that and then I have my cute little bag and then I actually just got these sneakers in the mail. Um, they may or may not be included in a video that I may or may not be filming today. Um, these are, get a good angle of them. These are the Adidas Edge Lux 3s, I think. Um, I just needed a new pair of like, just like everyday, like cute sneakers. And what I really like about them, if you look, the um, laces, they're almost like ribbony, um, which I think is kind of cute. Excuse all the times that I say um, I can't help it. I just say um a lot. I think it's because I'm still really nervous when I vlog. Um, I just said it again. <laughs> so yeah, this is, this is my fit for 
my day of errands. I'm gonna go to breakfast right now. And then I have a couple places that I have to go because I have to pick up some stuff. I just got in the car to leave to go to breakfast, but I quickly wanted to share that, I'm gonna turn this down. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me over that. Um, Spotify and Wrapped came out yesterday, which I was super pumped for. I had like been waiting all week for it to come out. Um, so I thought I would share what came out. Oh my God, did it get rid of? <sighs> yeah, I think it did. It got rid of my stats. They have like a little story, almost like Instagram with your stats from Instagram from the year. Oh, I only took a screenshot. Oh, no, 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 that's a lie. I have two screenshots. I just wanted to show you guys because I always love, I know this is gonna sound weird, but I love when the Spotify Unwrapped comes out because everybody posts like their stats on their story and I always think it's interesting to like see what other people listen to and a lot of the time, like if there's artists or music that I don't know about, I'll like go give it a listen and it's a great way to find out about some new music. I am looking rough today, like we're just gonna call it what it is. Like my hair is rough. My, my face is rough, but you know what? Sometimes we need a break. We need a break from doing the hair. We need a break from doing the makeup. And today is a much needed break for me. Tell my story. So this is, oh, my wheels in the way. Can you see? There we go. So, uh, my top artists were Drake, Post Malone, Khalid, Ariana Grande, A Boogie. Tells you how many minutes that you listen to. Um, and then my top genre was pop rap and then some of my so top songs of the year. Which I always think is... There we go, I'm focused again. I just always like to know and I love... Um, the playlists that they make for you I honestly like when I get bored with music I usually go back and listen to like years past like unwrapped playlists because obviously I know it's all songs that I like so uh, I'm so happy I think they just started I've used Spotify since 2014 which I or no 2013 which I did not know um but I found out when I got like my stats yesterday um and they've only done the Spotify Unwrapped playlist, I want to say since 2017. I could be wrong, but that's all that I have. So this is my third one, but I still go through the 2017 and 18 one all the time. So I'm so excited for that one. Um, and I've been listening to it. And then they also came out this year with, oh my God, Spotify, I'm plugging you. Can you, do you want to like work with me? Um... People are probably walking by being like, what is this girl on? Like, is she okay? Why is she talking to a camera in her driveway? Um, where is it? Oh, it says that, oh, they gave me one for 2016, but I don't think that it was ever there. It says your top songs, 2016. I'm gonna have some bops to listen to. Okay, here's the second playlist I was talking about. So it says best of the decade for you and are these really, is the, are these my songs? I don't know, I think, yeah, I wanna say. So it's like my top songs of the decade. I don't know really what the difference is, but I just always think it's fun. I love music and I love like, like finding out like, oh, what I listen to the most. Like I think that music tells a lot about a person. This is a terrible angle, but you know what, hi. Hi, can we get this redness out of my hair? Like, what the fuck? Literally, like, I can't. I just, I can't. I'm gonna make a whole video just on my, like, hair story. And I know it looks like shit right now, so please don't judge it right now. But, <laughs> um, it's just, it fades red so quickly. I just got my hair done, but I have an appointment in a couple weeks. And the problem is, really, what, what the real tea is, is that I... I'm a hair washing addict. I wash my hair, I would say, I try to go two to three days in between every wash, but realistically, that doesn't always happen. And then when I go to the gym, it just gets worse. I don't know how these fitness girls do it. Literally, one of my biggest gripes with going to the gym is that my hair gets dirty and I have to wash it again. And 
it's not good for it's not good obviously everybody knows like it's not good to wash your hair every day but my hair I have extremely dry hair I always have and everybody's gonna clock me and be like oh it's because you know you were platinum blonde for six years and your natural hair color is jet black yeah we know but in general like before even as a kid like before I started to dye my hair my hair was just always super dry so it's just like a mess and it's my excuse all the time to not go to the gym like I just washed my hair today I can't wash it again I'm not washing it two times in one day but yeah that's my my little story my little tea <laughs> of the moment I don't even know what that means um but yeah let's head to walked out of TJ Maxx. I didn't end up vlogging at breakfast just because me and my friend were just busy talking and I just didn't have the time to pull it out because it was quick. Um, but I went to TJ Maxx. I was actually kind of disappointed. I go to a TJ Maxx that's like not close to where I live. Like it's kind of a drive. It's like over 20 minutes away. Ooh, I just thought of something. I'm gonna grab a drink from Starbucks on my way home. Um, but besides the point, I go to this TJ Maxx that isn't close to where I live like there's much closer ones but usually they have the best stuff ever like I've gotten a bunch of different free people stuff from there I've gotten stuff from Zara there um, and it's usually great I didn't find nearly as much like usually I'm like oh my god like I really need to be picky and choosy because I find so much that I like and I want and that's for like a great price but that didn't happen today. I did get a lot, um, but I mainly just got a ton of gifts. I stocked up on gifts for, I went ham for my boyfriend, my dad, and my brother. I There was a ton of good like stuff in the men's section, um, which was great. So I got a bunch for them, and I've been like trying to get my Christmas shopping done early, because usually it's like Christmas Eve, and I'm like, oh, I have to go to the mall. Like I got nobody a gift. Um, so I've just been trying to like, do that I think my mom is almost done I need more for my dad I need more for my brother but I think um, I'm getting my boyfriend one bigger gift and I think with all the like little stuff that I've gotten him I think that that should be it for him um, so yeah I'll show you guys when I get home I'll do a mini haul of um, the items I got I didn't get much for myself I think I only got three things um, so yeah it is currently snowing so bad and it wasn't supposed to snow today and I hate driving in the snow so that stinks um, I was gonna take a trip to Target but it's kind of gross out so I might just go to CVS or Walgreens quick to grab what I need because um, I just need like dumb stuff like deodorant and toothpaste um, so I think I'll just run into Walgreens to grab that because I don't want to be out in the snow if I don't have to I'll turn it around actually. shop and chat about something that I have a couple thoughts on um it is snowing like crazy I don't know who in their right mind let me live in East Baton like I, I just don't I don't understand I'm like not I'm not pleased at all holy crap so anyways oh my god I look crazy but like that's okay that's fine we're fine it's 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 just fine so i guess i okay so i didn't know about this until my boyfriend actually saw it and he sent me it on instagram he was like oh did you know about this so snooki quit jersey shore and he sent me this and i have some thoughts so snooki announced today that she's done with jersey shore and i like looked it up and it said that she announced it on her podcast which i do listen to her podcast it's called uh i think it's called it's happening with snooki and joey and i listen i would say like a, a decent amount like i don't want i don't listen to every episode but if there's like an episode and like whatever they're talking about that day like seems interesting i'll listen to it i listen to a lot of podcasts um but i listen like sometimes to it's snooki and joey so i have like always loved Snooki but recently after like the last season of Jersey Shore I was like Sh I don't I don't like her anymore or not okay let me let me like 
backtrack. It's not that I don't like her. I mean, it's not that deep. I don't look that much into it, but I was like, oh, I don't even, I like stopped watching. I didn't want to watch anymore. I didn't like how Dina, Wow, and Snooki kind of were acting. I don't know. I just thought they were like becoming really mean and catty and I honestly felt bad for Angelina like I thought that they were like pretty mean to her and I thought it was kind of like some of it was I don't know just like uncalled for and I was like you know what I don't really want to that's not why I like watched the show I watched it because it was funny so I was like honestly I'm kind of shocked and like it kind of bothered me that like I don't know they would be like oh I'm not a bully but then they would like bully this girl and blame her for everything and they would blame her for things that clearly like didn't seem to be her fault. I know that TV, especially reality TV, it's very edited. There's, you know, a storyline that they want to keep up with or portray, and they want to portray certain people in different ways. But, I don't know. The last thing I heard was, like, a couple weeks ago, and I guess that, like, Snooki, Wow, and Dina made a speech at Angelina's wedding, and I heard it was, like, really mean that they made her cry, and, like, she walked out, and people were booing them, and, like, it was just an uncomfortable situation. When I heard that, I was like, you know what? Like, I don't want to support that. Like, I don't, I'm not watching this stuff anymore. Like, that's, that's mean. That's stupid. Like, if that's what they're turning this into, like, I don't, I don't want to watch. So anyways, I was like, you know what, let me turn on her podcast because I'm really interested to see, like, why, why she doesn't want to do it anymore or why she's quitting or whatever. So I listened and she basically said, you know, like, a multitude of reasons, like, her family, you know, she doesn't want to be away from her kids and then she kind of got into the fact that she doesn't like how she's being edited. She doesn't like how she's being portrayed. So I feel like in her defense, I definitely can see, like, I, I know that's something that happens a lot. Like, they give people poor edits. They, you know, kind of twist people's words and take them out of context and stuff like that. But low-key, like, I feel like stuff like that, like when it comes to Angelina, she's been a bully to her and I don't think that she likes that people have like called her out and been like, hey, you're like, you're mean, you're being mean and it's bothered her. So I feel like, I don't know, it's kind of hard. It, I think that some of it probably has been taken out of context, but on the same token, like I think it's hard to like completely make up some of that stuff. So she was like, oh, I just don't like how they're portraying me. I don't like all the drama, blah, blah, blah. And she was saying that she was, like, getting death threats and her children were de getting death threats, which is, like, so gross. And I don't know why people get, like, so crazy about stuff like that. But I don't know. Like, I low-key kind of feel like she was mean, didn't like that people said she was mean, and didn't like that people were like, oh, I don't want to support you if you're, be if you're mean. Like, that's, that's not cool. That's bullying. And she didn't like it and that's kind of how i feel I, don't know. I did pick up one thing though i got this it's the castor leave-in conditioning spray pro growth um it says it provides sheen and luster to your hair with natural reflective and moisturizing properties it just looks like this it was six bucks um if you didn't know i'm trying to grow out my hair i'll be posting a video hopefully within the next couple months about my hair story and <laughs> all the damage I caused to my hair and like how I've been like growing it back for the past year um, but castor oil is supposed to be really really good for hair growth um, on your head your eyebrows and your eyelashes um, I have castor oil that I use um, for my eyebrows and for my eyelashes it's like a smaller bottle and I just use an applicator but I wanted to try this. I've been trying different like hair growth remedies to kind of help me because it's it's been a journey, but my hair is also super dead. So I'm excited to try this and see if it does anything. Probably won't, but like pure castor oil, like there's no crap in this. It's there's like nothing in it other than that. So hopefully it, it works. Um so I grabbed that. And then I just grabbed toothbrushes, which I know is like super weird to do at TJ Maxx, but that was on my list of stuff that I needed and I saw them there. So I was like, okay, I'll just grab them there. So I grabbed a new toothbrushes and then I grabbed three pieces of clothing. So I 
really need to stock up on sweaters. I'm like a clothing hoarder, but I lack the essentials for living in New Hampshire, such as sweaters. I have sweaters, but I really like cardigans, but it's so cold that I just need some like non-cardigan sweater sweaters. So I picked up this red one. It's from the brand Willow and Wind. I've never heard of it before. It's red. Just looks like this. And then if you can see here, it has kind of like a balloon sleeve, which I'm obsessed with balloon sleeves. Like it's been a trend. I want to say this winter, I've seen a bunch of sweaters online and shirts with the balloon sleeves, but I absolutely love them. Um, so I just picked up this one. I thought it would be good for Christmas time. And it's like, a full blown sweater, not a cardigan. Again, super disappointed with their clothing section. Usually they have tons of stuff. Like my plan was to grab like a hefty amount of sweaters, um, but they didn't really have anything I liked. And then I grabbed this sweater. It is from the brand, it's from uh, Philosophy. It was originally $68, so I don't know like what brand this is, but it seemed really comfy. Um, and it just looks like this, if you can see, I don't know. Um, it's this like really comfy material and it's kind of like a gray toned olive green, I would say. Um, and I love that this color and I feel like this would look really cute tucked into a skirt with boots or jeans with boots. I just need like everyday like casual type sweaters. Um, so yeah, I picked up this one. I think I picked them both up in a small if I'm correct. Yes. And then I picked up one last thing. I picked up a sweatshirt. So if you didn't know, I'm from New England, which means that Tom Brady's my dad. Um, I'm obsessed with the Patriots and I always need new Pats gear and I don't have enough. So I saw this wicked cute, like kind of cropped sweatshirt and it just says New England Patriots and it has a hood on it, which I like. I just needed a new Patriot shirt. I just thought this was cute. I got this in a medium because the material is super soft and like, I don't know, it kind of feels like cotton and spandexy. So I feel like these tend to shrink in the dryer. So I got it in a medium so it would be a little bit oversized and I'm assuming that I'll probably wear this all the time. Um, and I don't want it to shrink. So yeah, that's all I grabbed for myself at TJ Maxx. I did get a lot, but, um, I got a ton of gifts, not for me. And some of those people might be watching this video, so I don't want to show them. So if you're listening and you're a loved one of mine, stay tuned. Next, I went to Walgreens and I got a ton of crap there. Um, I Usually what I try to do is I go like, Usually on Fridays, my boyfriend will send me a list of stuff that like we're out of and that we need. Um, and then I'll cash at me and say, okay, like here, go get it. Cause they usually have Fridays during the day off. And I like usually like get stuff done and like stock up on food or whatever we need. But we just like ran out. Both of us have a ton of like essentials at the same time. So we went to Walgreens and picked up a ton of stuff. Um, I, Grabbed him some stuff. I'm not going to show it because it's like boring. Um, but I picked up myself some things that I needed. So the first thing I grabbed is just um, heat protectant. I got the Chi one. This was expensive. This was 15 bucks. Um, I currently am using one from Dry Bar and it's wicked nice, but I'm poor. Like I can't afford to like replenish Dry Bar. But again, I just spent 15 bucks on this, so I don't really know what, what the difference was. But um, Pick this up. I'm trying to use less heat on my hair. Um, again, I'm going to make a whole video about this. But I picked this up because I was running out of my other one. And when I do use it, I use a hefty amount of heat protectant. Don't know if it does anything, but I like to tell myself that it does. Picked that up. And then I also ran out of like all my shaving stuff. So I just got um, new shave cream. This is the EOS um, Vanilla Bliss. Shave cream, got that, works wonders, nice and cheap. What else did I get in here? Oh, I also got new razors. I just got like the cheap Walgreens brand razors. I needed to stock up on those. 
What else did I get? I also wanted to try natural deodorant. I've been thinking about it for a while um, because I know that normal deodorant contains parabens and aluminum, which isn't good for you. And I guess I think allegedly can cause cancer. So I picked up this one. It's native deodorant in the scent vanilla and sandalwood. This shit was expensive. This was $11.99 for this tiny container not container but you know what I mean um so we'll see how this goes if this works I'll be so happy and I will never use um a non-natural deodorant again but if I stink I like can't justify this I probably won't use it but I'm gonna give it a good go three I picked up a toner I just ran out of my favorite one it is the from the brand fresh and it's the rose hydration one that's like changed the game for me but i'm really poor and i also really didn't want to go all the way to the mall to go to sephora to pick it up um so i picked up this one because it also has a way more products cheaper whatever and it's just the thayer's facial toner witch hazel lavender looks like this um i love that it has one of these caps i don't like the spray ones um, I feel like I just don't get enough product when I use those. So I picked up this. Um, we'll see. Hopefully it doesn't break me out. Hopefully it helps me rather than hurts me or does more than just nothing. Uh, so that was that. I just grabbed three more things. I grabbed this Bondi Sands Australian Tan Reusable Self Tan Application Mitt. Um, the one I have is Grody. I needed a new one. I'm going somewhere tomorrow and... I'm going to be wearing a dress, I think, so I wanted to, uh, like, I wanted, <laughs> I wanted to get a spray tan, but I didn't want to pay for a spray tan, and low-key, I feel like if I do something, like, where it's not, like, a crazy formal thing, or, like, I don't know, like, if it's something that's not super super important i'd rather do it myself and i also like don't like spray tans i really hate them i don't like the way it makes my skin feel i feel like they always look super orangey and i also don't like to have like all that chemical crap all over my body if i don't have to when i do it myself i just put it on the areas that like need to be self tanned and then i leave the rest of myself um alone and i feel like it washes off a lot faster like for like a one time like more casual use i like to do it myself so i just grabbed one of these because i need a new one and then i just grabbed two beauty products i'm running low on a bunch of stuff but they didn't have much of what i needed at walgreens so i just got the basics um i got this from wet and wild it's the lift brows brighten and shape looks like this Funny enough, sometimes I use this on my brows. I actually use this on my waterline. Um, my waterline, like that one. I use it on my waterline. Um, Loki, that's probably bad, but I feel like this works really well on your waterline, and I like feel naked without having some type of brightening liner on my waterline. I just feel like it makes your eyes pop. It makes everything look better and more put together and my other one just ran out so i picked that one up and then i also needed a new um clear clear gel for my brows so i just picked up the maybelline great lash one i thought i would show you guys my little holiday room spread i have more holiday decor that I used to have in my apartment and I have no idea where any of it is. So I did a couple things in here. It's not like as festive as I would like it to be, but I think it's still pretty cute. So I'm gonna show you guys my little holiday setup. So here's like my my bed stand or my armoire. And I just have my two little candles going those were from target and i thought they were cute they kind of look like ornaments i have this is my favorite thing ever i'm gonna shake it and show you guys so this is if it'll focus 
there we go, Harrods of London. So I studied abroad in London and I brought minimal stuff back home with me. And that was actually, it's Christmas decor, but I keep it all year round just because it reminds me of my time in London. Um, but obviously it's Christmas, so it works with my little spread. And then over here, I just have a little tree, a little tiny one as like decor. Back up, get a, get a better angle of it all. And I don't know if you guys can really tell, but I have LED lights that are taped to the back of my um, TV. And I have the green ones on right now. Hold on, let's turn the lights off. Let's show you guys this. Because I think these are so cute. Okay, now I think we're getting a better, like, full effect of it. So I just have the light on, just, like, really cute and, and you know, peaceful. Then I have my little tiny Christmas tree over here. It's white. It's so small. This thing was like 60 bucks at Target. And I was like really disappointed when I opened it. I was like, wow, that's like really small. And like that was expensive. Um, but I had a tree in my apartment. Um, but I think I threw it out before I moved because I didn't want to carry it. Um, so I wanted a white one. So I picked up this one and I wanted a colored light one. Um, I, you didn't used to like colored lights. I thought it was kind of tacky, but now I like love it. Um, I have like a big tree skirt that I like wrapped and it looks kind of stupid with a cute little bow on top. But nonetheless, I have a tree in my room, which is important. Um, and then I just have, I keep like my perfumes and stuff there, but I stuck a little nutcracker there. So it's my little holiday room. <laughs> Back to Atlanta, Atlanta. Flappers to the couches, and I'm mesmerized by that. The wounds that I can tell that she loves me. 